Gypsy has become a social media star the moment she came out of prison, but many are forgetting the terrifying past she has to recover from. But I do have to warn you, some topics we will be discussing are quite sensitive. It seems like there were tons of red flags all over Dee Dee as multiple family members have made serious allegations against her. And if you don't know, Dee Dee is Gypsy's mom. When Emma, who was Dee Dee's mom, fell ill, Claude, who was her father, remarried Laura. And Gypsy's stepmom and Bobby, who was Gypsy's cousin, all alleged that Dee Dee did have a hand in Emma's passing. Bobby even shared how Emma's passing was slow and painful. And of course, this is extremely upsetting to hear, but that wasn't the only thing they are alleging. In fact, Christy even shared how Dee Dee was actually not feeding Emma and remembers asking Dee Dee's own sister if she believes Dee Dee had anything to do with her mother's passing. But that made her wonder and Laura even had a say in the documentary and stated, leave your mama dirty and asking for food and, and not want to feed her. That's evil. But Emma and Dee Dee both have passed which makes the situation difficult to fully understand or hard to determine the full truth as we are just hearing one side from multiple people. What do you think? I will add that Emma's obituary makes no mention of a cause plus Dee Dee a allegedly tried to do the same thing to Laura, who was her stepmom. After Dee Dee and Rod divorced, she and Gypsy went to live with Claude and Laura. That's where Dee Dee did all the cooking and Laura suddenly became sick. And when multiple family members began to allege that she used Roundup, which was a product used to get rid of grass and other plants and not meant for human consumption, into her food. It doesn't make Dee Dee look like the star daughter, but Laura was bedridden for 9 months and eventually was called out for her treatment of Gypsy and Laura's illness during a family gathering, which resulted in Claude and Laura kicking Dee Dee out. That caused her to move to Louisiana and guess what? When she left, Laura made a full recovery. The whole case is far from normal because before Gypsy was even born, lies and deception was already happening. In fact, her father Rod shared in the documentary a lie Dee Dee, who of course is Gypsy's mother, from the very start. Rod was just 17 and still in high school when he met Dee Dee. And she told him she was 21 years old and he wouldn't find out until later that she was 23, which meant that she was 6 years older than him and romantically involved before he was legally an adult and they dated for three months before Dee Dee told Rod that she was pregnant and the two eventually got married. But Rod admitted he didn't love Dee Dee and they ultimately separated before Gypsy was even born. Gypsy even believes that her mom's most devastating failure was her divorce from Rod and that Dee Dee would always blame Gypsy for their divorce because she wasn't the son he wanted. Imagine hearing that as a kid from your own mother. Not only would I personally be sad, it would probably be on my mind for for the rest of my life. I've seen users on TikTok sharing their thoughts on this revelation and some believe Dee Dee is pure evil, whereas others don't think it's a big deal. I personally think no 23 year old should even be lying about their age and dating high schoolers. Even Dee Dee's father Claude alleged that her mother would take things from stores and not pay for it as well as things get deeper. One of the more serious accusations revealed in the documentary was Gypsy alleging her grandfather essayed her. After a car accident left Dee Dee in the hospital, Gypsy went to live with her grandfather Claude and her stepmother Laura. It was during her stay with her grandpa when he would allegedly perform acts on her and make her touch him. At the time, Gypsy would have been 9 years old and she recalls not thinking anything was wrong in the situation. But her grandpa would tell her not to tell anyone because he would make her fearful that he would end up behind bars because of his own granddaughter. What shocked many viewers was later on the docuseries, her grandfather actually is interviewed and asked about Gypsy's claims. He ultimately denied it and even said that this was the first time he's ever heard of it and added they would always play together. But when he was asked why Gypsy would say something like that if it wasn't true, he instead alleges that Gypsy was the one who would try to touch him. He told the camera that he would tell her not to do that and that this started when she was 4 years old. As a full grown man in this situation, I think what he said about how it's basically Gypsy's fault was worse than him staying silent at all in this situation, what do you think? Also, Gypsy also did address why she decided to speak up about this interaction years ago and it was because she felt like she's gotten to a point where she can stand up on her own two feet and be able to say yes this happened to me and no I won't let it affect me. 
And because he is still also alive, Gypsy wanted to share what happened to her to possibly prevent her grandpa from doing the same thing to other family members, children, or people. But Dee Dee's brother Evan suggested that Dee Dee planted this idea into Gypsy's head. On the other hand, Gypsy said there's no part of her that questioned if this happened or not, and even added this 100% happened and that he could take it to his grave if he wanted to, but one person who won't be visiting is her. She also allegedly tried telling her mom a year later, but Dee Dee became emotional and began blaming herself, so Gypsy clammed up is how she described it. Growing up, my parents would joke about not letting me get a boyfriend until I was an adult. Jokes on them because no boy wanted me back in school. For Gypsy, on the other hand, she met a man named Dave at a pop culture convention in Missouri called VisionCon. And because Gypsy was still living with her mother, who had a ton of rules in place for her, she decided to run away from the house. Eventually, Dee Dee found her and convinced her to return home with a false promise that she would continue letting Gypsy see him if she did. But when they got home, Dee Dee chained Gypsy to the bed for two weeks. She had a dog leash and her hands were tied and this is when Dee Dee would allegedly begin physically hurting her own daughter with her hands or items such as coat hangers. The leash was connected to Dee Dee which meant anytime Gypsy were to move, she would feel it. She also immediately smashed her computer and cell phone when they got home to cut off contact from others. And for further punishment, her mom wouldn't feed her every day, but she would eat whatever she wanted. This story is so heartbreaking and I I think many people are forgetting Gypsy has really gone through a ton of events growing up and once she was released, she immediately became famous and people have concerns for her as many think she should receive all the help and support behind closed doors instead of everything in front of cameras. I mean she already received backlash recently which prompted her to post onto her account indirectly addressing it. To further keep Gypsy under her control, she put a voodoo hex on her daughter. Dee Dee basically bought a mason jar and put photos of Dan, who was a guy Gypsy ran away with during Vision Con, and photos of Gypsy into it. She added a cow's tongue and a little bit of Gypsy's that time of the month if you know what I'm hinting at. She then took this jar and buried it in their backyard and told Gypsy she would never find love or be happy. Dee Dee's words have actually stuck to Gypsy even to this day as she believes her mom and still has feelings to this day that her mom was right. She shared how when she gets close to someone, they end up leaving her. But she did say this back in 2019 when she was engaged to a man named Ken. He ended up leaving her which broke her heart and Gypsy always brings her mind straight to that cursed jar. She shared how Dee Dee never wanted her to find love or happiness and she's just always felt stuck. This incident is actually what sparked Gypsy to think seriously about living her life without her mom. And after Gypsy ran away, this incident caused her mom to bring home a BB gun. But Gypsy didn't know it was one of those pellets that came out of it, but thought it was the real deal. It scared Gypsy a lot because she was fearful for her own life. At one point, Gypsy wanted to run away again and packed a bag. However, Dee Dee found the bag and quickly realized what Gypsy was planning. So Gypsy saw the gun on the table and quickly grabbed it and even fired it several times. She couldn't believe what she just did. However, she realized it wasn't a real gun and was relieved because she didn't intend to end her life, but rather she was shocked and acted quickly. Dee Dee was able to hide this incident because she told others that she received these wounds from a Walmart parking lot who asked for her wallet and when she gave it to him, he went off on her. One of the medical procedures Dee Dee convinced doctors Gypsy needed caused Gypsy to be on pain medications for years. During an appointment with an ear, nose, and throat specialist, Dee Dee claimed that her daughter had excessive drugs drooling. And because this wasn't true, she would put gel in Gypsy's mouth before her appointment, which made her mouth go numb and drool. That resulted in Gypsy getting her saliva glands removed, and once those were out, it caused her teeth to fall out as well, and she was hooked onto the medication provided. After the surgery, it was prescribed to her, but when it ran out, she was still in pain. So she would sneak one or two pills from her mother's bottles. When she wasn't looking and admitted during the horrible action she and Nick committed, she was feeling out of it because she was still on those medications, but has shared she is no longer that person anymore and she is clean. 
One thing that wasn't revealed until after the Lifetime documentary was a video Gypsy made for Nick. She made Nick a video which was kind of like a walkthrough of the house layout and what her mother's bedroom looked like because the plan was for him to enter in the dark. In the video, when Gypsy arrives at Dee Dee's bed, she is seen making motions with her arms that mimic the harmful actions that would eventually cause her mother to pass. Gypsy told the documentary that she did these motions because she was on those pain pills and the side effects caused her to disconnect from reality. This is extremely scary to hear and the fact that this was all planned out with even a walkthrough of the house is insane. We all know Gypsy is with her husband Ryan Anderson, happily rocking each other's worlds all night long. Well, she actually had cold feet before she married him. Gypsy shared that she always found it difficult to let go of her ex-fiance Ken. And the reason why he ended things was because he was concerned about the length of her prison sentence and all the unwanted attention that came with being her fiance. This ultimately devastated her, but later on she became engaged with Ryan. While she was still behind bars and 12 days before she was due to marry him, she revealed to Ryan that she actually reached out to Ken a few weeks ago. She lied and told him she hasn't contacted Ken for months. Although Ryan was hurt, they eventually worked through it after she admitted what happened and she wanted to enter this new marriage with no regrets. So that is what they're still doing as they appear happily adjusting to their new lives together. Nick or Nicholas Godijan was Gypsy's ex-boyfriend who took a part in helping her end Dee Dee's life. But did you know that when Gypsy began to communicate with Nick online, one of his exes actually reached out to her. They made their relationship Facebook official and that's when she received a message from one of Nick's exes who tried to warn her of his verbal and physical harm. She also added how he was very controlling but Gypsy ultimately turned a blind eye because she thought she was a crazy ex. But if that wasn't clear enough, Nick seemed to make Make it clear on his own because as their relationship progressed, he opened up about his fantasies which are way too dark to share on here. He added he had an alternate personality who was a 500 year old vampire who loves to take lives and would target Dee Dee. That is when Gypsy alleged that Nick directed her to research ways to take Dee Dee's life. Gypsy even recalled a chilling final conversation she had with her mom that very night. Nick instructed her to tell her mother that she loves her so that's what she did. Nick also wanted to do unthinkable things to her mom, but Gypsy didn't want him to, which resulted in her agreeing to let him do these actions onto her instead. I am someone who watches a ton of interrogations and cases similar to this, and it's definitely an interesting and new concept with social media. I think it can become difficult to fully understand, and with all that fame that followed Gypsy, she really hasn't had a completely normal life. What is your take on Gypsy and all your thoughts surrounding her fame that she quickly gained? If you make it this far, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you don't know me already, I'm Melanie with Inform Overload, and I'll be sure to see you next time. Bye bye.